welcome back guys um, for this project uh, I'm actually commissioned to do a uh, this painting uh, slash picture um, so basically what it is is there's the saying on it uh, a woman is like a tea bag you can't tell how strong she is until you put her in hot water um, and I, I forget who um, who actually had that wrote that saying I'm gonna put it down here below um, by that person um, but basically I'm gonna have uh, be doing this kind of in a, in calligraphy um, which I have not practiced um, doing at all so went ahead and just uh, wrote this out and then we're gonna do this in um, in ink I'm probably gonna do this with a uh, with a a black fountain pen maybe and um, just add in um, some thicker line and stuff with a uh, with a ink brush so that'll be for the writing now for the um, and 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 for like the the lines and stuff going on over here and then I have over here I have a, um, a teacup um, with a tea bag and a uh, a spoon and a little leaf down below for the leaves that go right here, the little spearmint leaves or whatever they are. Um, and uh, so I'll be I'll be inking this in as well, all that in. But I'm gonna try something, um, and I don't know how successful this is gonna turn out. But I actually um, brewed a cup of uh, of uh, black tea. It's actually black chai tea I believe it smells great but um, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna just put some of that tea down um, as like a watercolor um, and uh, we'll see how much uh, actually color comes out for it um, if there's not enough then I'll, I'll go back in and and maybe add in some uh, some actual watercolor but we'll see how it turns out also um, have heard of a technique where people have used uh, uh, coffee and uh, wine for um, for their watercolor so that's kind of interesting but um, so like I'm gonna, like I said I'm gonna try this right now and and um, and see how this turns out and then, like I said there's my uh, my cup of uh, chai tea and uh, um, and it's uh, it's a black tea so I'm hoping that it's gonna be a little bit darker um, but uh, this is uh, kind of an experiment, so let's see how this turns out here. So it looks like it's going on really light, which is okay. Um, we can definitely build on that. Um... And so I'm just going to put this light coat in here. And like I said, this is black chai tea. And uh, like I said, it's, it smells really good. <laughs> I'm going to have to see if there's a... Uh, a dad joke about tea or something <laughs> in my uh, in my book of dad jokes <clears throat> so I'm just throwing this down um, like I said just to kind of uh, see how this turns out and, uh, and then We'll go back over this part with uh, with the black um, ink. So and it's going on very light, very light. And so we'll see. Uh, 
we'll see how much uh, color actually ends up when it dries and then um, like I said if I need to I'll go back over with actual watercolor and kind of darken it up a little bit um, but I just want to get a little bit of color on here uh, um, So I'm going up into and off to the sides a little bit because there is going to be, this is going to be framed and it's going to be matted. It's going to be put in with a matting around it. So um, So why not add some tea to the actual tea bag and tea cup, you know, so real tea inside of it. So give that time some time to dry and then uh, start back at it. All right, so we um, we dried up a little bit here. Well, I should say a lot. And then I went ahead and <clears throat> I did add those drops with the tea mixture, and um, <clears throat> they actually turned out pretty nice. They they uh, they dark, were dark enough to show up. So um, now I'm basically I'm just going to go in and. Just gonna add in a uh, a little bit of more color here. So I'm using the uh, the tea water, and I am adding just a little bit of uh, um, watercolor to it. just to give it a little bit more color. I am gonna go back over this with with the ink. So it's gonna be uh, just, just showing up just a little bit. Like I said, I'm just adding a little bit of color here just to break up the monotony of the uh, the ink that that you're gonna see here. 
and uh, you would not be able to know how boring it would have been if you didn't have a little bit of this color in there and it's not much it's just a just a little bit A little bit of that green, and then, and then uh, that tea color with just a little bit, a little bit of um, watercolor in it, just to help it show up just a little bit more. Still, I can still smell the, the chai, which is smells just amazing. All right. So I think I don't know. Before I get too crazy with it, I think that's where I might stop. I can always go back in and add a little bit more color, um, a little bit more of the browns and such. Uh, after the fact, um, but I think that's when I'm gonna stop right there for the for the color right now. I'm gonna go in and uh, finish this off with all the black and uh, see where I go from there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so we jumped uh, jumped a little bit ahead here, and um, I went ahead and. Um, I changed a couple things. I guess the wording was wrong. Um, so my wife uh, <clears throat> wanted me to change a couple things here. So the saying is going to be, um, a woman is like a tea bag. You can't tell how strong they are. They are until you put them in hot water. Um, so <clears throat> I went ahead and made those changes. And uh, now I just want to kind of talk about, um, I also did do, I did a little bit of watercolor um, on the, uh, the the leaves here, just to add a little bit of color. Um, but let's talk, um, because we're doing this video in real time, um, we are kind of jumping ahead at different parts, so um, I just kind of want to stop and go over a few things here and there. Um, I, uh, I did put these, the drops, and those are just from the tea bag. Um, tea bags and those are kind of just splattered all around and um, I also wanted to mention to you that um, this is going to be going into a frame so the there is going to be a matting that goes around this and um, so I believe the matting is going to go in um, to right about here and um, and down down to about here so we're just basically looking at the small area and anything outside that area like some of this stuff up here um, that'll be uh, covered up so um, that's why I kind of extended it off into that a little bit um, but what uh, I want to what else I wanted to talk to you about is I, I did do a lot of research on um, doing calligraphy uh, I, I have very little experience doing calligraphy um, with a little bit, a little bit of experience. But uh, I did get some um, different things from uh, family members for Christmases and birthdays and such. So I um, kind of wanted to talk, talk to you about that stuff. Um, traditional calligraphy is would not be done on this kind of paper. This is this, this paper is uh, um, watercolor paper. So it's... It, 
it's grainy it's not smooth and when you want to when you want to do uh, calligraphy you basically want to do that on very smooth paper this would not be the best to to do calligraphy. It would kind of just stick. And so what I mean by that is, so I, this is, for instance, a, a set I got um, for, for Christmas. And it has your traditional uh, ink style pen. And uh, basically... It's really going to be hard for you to see, but uh, there's a very fine line down in the front right here and a, and a hole. And that hole is where, where the ink captures inside there. And as you press down, as you press down on the, uh, on the paper, that fine line opens up just a little tiny bit and allows that ink to go down between, right down th through like a little groove here. And um, that's what you write with. Um, so this is like your, like I said, your, your very old traditional style, like back in a long time ago when, uh, you know, when they would have like a feather or, a, or something that they would, uh, like this, that they would write with and, uh, they would fill, fill this up with ink and, and, and dab it down inside there and, and, and use that. Um, so we're not going to be using... Uh, this well, let me show you another pen I got, which was it was pretty it's pretty neat. Uh, where did I put that at? Okay, so that's this is right here. This is a um, a fountain type style pen with that same um, that same tip on it that uh, that you can you can write with, um, and this this keeps the ink inside here and uh funnels it out into that little little opening right there and you can write with that and this is re refillable this is kind of cool so i haven't really had much time to to mess around with that either but um I'm, i am going to be doing a, a video just strictly on calligraphy so that uh, you and i can learn together but for this video um we're going to cheat because again like i said this is kind of a bad paper to do this on so what we're going to do is, is we're going to just use some, some regular, uh, very fine point, uh, black, uh, markers, pens, uh, water resistant, uh, pigment liners, uh, that I have here. And these are similar to like, a like a, a really good, uh, brand that, uh, a well-known brand is the Micron. So... Uh, it's very similar to to what I'm going to be using. Uh, I, I do have Microns, but uh, a few of them are getting a little older, so they probably need to be replaced. But they come in different sizes, and um, um, we're going to be um, we're going to be going for the the smallest at this point, which I believe is a 0.5. It does also have come this this particular. Um, one comes does come with um, the brush style so which is which is cool i do have uh, uh different ones of these where they can um, it basically has a long brush and it has the ink inside there and and you can use it as a brush it's pretty 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 uh pretty cool so uh, another one of those i have here is is this one right here um and this is this is actually i think it's called a I think it's called a Pentel, and it's made in Japan. And uh, same thing, uh, has the brush style tip on it. But like I said, for this video, I'm going to we're going to cheat. So uh, basically, what we're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and 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 put the the whole thing in ink. And once you put and do this in ink with your fine line, then what we're going to do is we're going to go back in with either the thicker line or we might use the brush style. And we are going to make it appear to be like it was done at one time in a calligraphy style. 
Um, speaking of click through styles, I, I, like I, I don't know if I started to say that or not, but I, I did do a lot of research on, on calligraphy and, and found that there was, I kind of just thought there was going to be like one thing pop up and bam, there it is. This is, this is the style of calligraphy and, um, come to find out that there's uh, a bunch of different styles of calligraphy. I mean, a lot. So, um, you know, you kind of have to just pick your style that you want to use and, uh, and uh, and go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, and and start doing some of this a little bit here, and then um, I'll come back and uh, jump you guys back in here so you guys can see what else is going on. All right, so I wanted to get a close up here for you. Um, this close up is gonna be for the teacup and tea bag and spoon. Um, but what we're gonna do is, is we're going to um, kind of do this in a uh, kind of an ink style um, um, sketch almost, kind of like, kind of hard to describe, but you, uh, you'll get what I'm doing here. Um, and basically, um, what you're doing is, is you're, just making some uh, different size lines and to indicate um, some shadowing um, again it's let's see again it's it's kind of just like a like a um, a sketch. Sorry, I'm not really, I can't really think of the, off the top of my head, I really can't think of the, uh, the, the style, <clears throat> the exact terminology, but. Almost like what you would do with um, just like your pencil. It's kind of like a line shadowing, maybe. Um, And so that's going to give you, um, not only is it going to represent a little bit of shadowing, but it's also going to be um, like the, because the the way the lines are curved or um, such is, is going to indicate um, like, like this is round. So this is going to give you the illusion that we're not looking at something flat here. We're looking at uh, something... Uh, something round So, um, so I'm going to just keep going here and uh, back with you here shortly and kind of show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so basically this is what 
um, the finished product of the like <clears throat> the shadowing for the um, the teacup and tea bag and such. Um, it basically, like I said, is is you're just adding in some lines indicating that there's um, there's a shadow there. I wanted to put those lines in and uh, make it a little bit more um, like sketchy looking with a little bit of that um, uh, that tea color that um, that we put on previously. So um, I think it's a it's a neat effect. Um, so there's that, and then uh, let me uh, go ahead and come back here in a second with um, kind of like the finished product. Okay, so this is the final finished product. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and um, like I said, we'll get into some more videos uh, more in depth with um, the calligraphy aspect of it, doing actually real calligraphy, and um, and also some of that uh, uh, that line shadow technique. Um, we'll get into that. Uh, as well in a, in a future video. So thanks again for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.